Bruh, you won't believe what I just found. Hi guys, so I was going on the internet just looking for some interesting and kind of unique stuff that haven't really been done much before. And I found some very unusual escort websites to the point where I was just like, what the fuck? This is so weird. But what's really funny is that not only that these websites are like very weird, like they actually have like a good variety of convenience as well. What's up everybody? I'm a Marks and today we are going to look at some weird escort oh, websites. Yeah. I think we're going to be able to watch, view some of them without all the necessary extreme nudity and everything, but we'll see. <laughs> Now, the first website we're covering is called Backpage. Now, this was like a ordinary, very old school website where you could also just, you know, go look for a partner or something, look for a, you know, ho a hooker, a prostitute of some kind. And, but over the years, it's evolved and obviously it kind of went down to the internet basement, such as some dating apps like Plenty of Fish. But yeah, it's weird because now it's like the Walmart of like hookup sites or escort sites because it has like a little bit of everything. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, so. We are on back page, right? And here's what the home page looks like. Like you see, you see stuff like it says adult, like adult jobs, body rubs, dom and fetish, and all the male escorts, TS, phones and websites, strippers, meet and F, all that stuff, right? But then you see automotive, auto parts, services, anti-collectibles, appliances, bo boats and motorcycles, business, clothing, jewelry. It basically has got a little bit of everything. It's so fucking weird. Like I have never seen a escort site do any of this crap. Crap. And what makes it funny is uh, you could actually uh, go as far as like rentals. Like you can even go on like look for apartments on here or freaking go on vacation. Like what type of freaking weirdo would go on the escort website just to get on to go on vacation or a fucking apartment? Like y'all are freaking wh whack. Now, obviously, I cannot really show you the nudity or the escort sections of the whole website for this part, but I will definitely show you the other appliances that stuff that goes with like roommates or whatever. So that said we're gonna actually look at yeah we're gonna look at the apartment condos first and see what we could find and if there's any, anything that pops up I swear to God but um, so far there's only two houses okay all right this we're, I checked on this before and oh my god bro this thing is so <laughs> oh my god this thing is freaking tiny like I can't even tell if this is legit like um, the person's 35 and whatever it's a three bedroom three bath <laughs> Like, uh, oh, scam alert. If ad poster posts for money, oh, yeah. It's, honestly, I'll be surprised if any of this, like, I'm, like, any of this is not a scam. But, yeah, there's, we're going to go through that. We're going to go through rentals. And <laughs> this is all they got. I have a two-bedroom and three-bedroom for rent. Pets allowed. Message me on cell phone. And eh, no thank you, bro. Now, unfortunately, on this weird escort website for a bunch of convenience that, obviously, uh, when you click on other stuff very much, like when I click on something, it doesn't show much of anything because, like I said, what type of weirdo would go on here? But there is some things I did find kind of funny. Like, I did find a uh, customer service uh, job opportunity on here. Like, what the... <laughs> What the hell? Like, God. But no, it, of course, it's probably a scam or some weirdo or something. It was like a pyramid scheme person or something. Okay, so there's another weird back page alternative called yesbackpage.com. And you know what it is? It is basically back page, but just part two. <laughs> But this back page got a little bit more different stuff. You see, they got not only just, you know, roommates and all that, all roommates, instruments and all that. They got gigs like writing talent, crew, events. They even have part-time jobs. Like, oh my God, bro. Like, well, I want to go on, I want to not only get laid, but get a part-time job, bro. Hell yeah. And they also got some crazy trades and labor. Lost and found. You, you know what? We're going to check out the lost and found, bro. What's, what's lost and found? Oh. Oh, there's nothing there except an F now and sugar babies. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is absolute horrid. Like child care, child care. There is child care on an escort websites. Like make it make sense. Like what the, f <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, I swear, one of these websites, they're probably going to have, like, some secret undercover stuff, like the Mafia or some crap or <laughs> something like that. I, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so I found a weird list of, like, weird adult, like, sites. But obviously, I'm not going to show it. 
but I'm gonna literally explain the website and give a quick, just like a little description summary based off of it because some of these I've read are absolutely absurd. Like listen to this. So there's a website called thisvid.com. So basically it's a website where it, it, it promotes scat adult content. Like what a, it's basically two girls, one cup, but a whole like, you know, <laughs> library. Now I'm aware this was like a whole genre for the whole time for like a very long time now, but we don't need a library or an encyclopedia of someone basically pooing on camera like <laughs> no and there's like the insane part is there's i'm pretty sure there's like a couple more i'm gonna read to you too now this one is called crazy shiitake.com obviously it's not shiitake but you know what i mean but anyways uh yeah the whole website actually just actually represents not only just extreme like nudity in all and adult content but dude i actually went on it to check it out they have a brutality section so it's like a very violent section of, you know, brutal adult content to the point where it's like a compilation of people basically getting laid and then getting hurt while at the same time. Like, what type of sick fuck does that? Now, never I've seen someone actually combine violent, like, brutality and, like, adult films at the same time. Like, I've never seen it combined. I've seen it feature both in, like, one category on a gore website. But this is, like, non, like, this is, like, legit, like, combined. It's, like, combining genres. <laughs> like, literally, it's insane. Now, check this out. XP.com. And no, I am not talking about Windows XP. Even though I really wish it was Windows XP, this website right here promotes, you know, peeing. Wet, like... What? <laughs> that, and then it actually has compilations of people just basically going to the bathroom or they just, you know, peeing on their partners. I'm just like, bruh. Like this whole branding for all this adult stuff for all the weird sick individuals, bro. Like, nah. This is this is this is not okay. This is like deep dark web potential stuff. Except it's not deep dark web, but it's damn near close. Oh man, I could just see in the comment section that someone's gonna type it. Oh my god, this person is such a virgin. <laughs> no, but like seriously, like I can see the hate because sometimes I, on my YouTube comments, I literally get haters for no reason for all the stupidest crap. Now guys, don't do what I just did and just go on there without a VPN or some type of security because God, who knows who or who knows what, what happen, is going to happen if, because I don't really auto-save any important information, but someone could email me some weird stuff. Someone could probably get my phone number somehow. It might be auto-saved somewhere through like Google. You just got to be really careful with these things because you just never know. But this is just for, oh, hiccups, entertainment purposes only. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching today's video. Now, this video is kind of structured, kind of weird, I'm trying to switch things up a little bit. And I, I wanted to express my personality a little bit because I kind of went on rant mode during this video and I honestly don't do it very often even though it's not very like serious it was still kind of you know a little entertaining to do so because sometimes you just need a fucking vent <laughs> anyways if you guys like my content make sure to leave a like if you really enjoyed the content make sure to hit that subscribe button we're all about 20 subs away of 9,000 subscribers and thank you guys for being so damn loyal thank you guys for also listening to everything I gotta say too because you know what guys this type of stuff just keeps me going and <laughs> I love like finding weird stuff and I also like making weird stuff sometimes too because so you know what fuck it <laughs> also guys announcement time I'm gonna be definitely evolving more into my old roots like on the commentary videos coming up really soon there's a few topics I want to cover and also I am this August I am investing some money into the YouTube channel for the first time like actual money to help promote it and grow it because I love making videos and I want to spread it to everybody I can to you know embrace my weirdness and just embrace me and I just like making videos that you know like it'd be kind of one of those cool dream come trues now it's like one o'clock in the morning I'm currently on a seven day work week and shit I gotta make time for this too you know but yeah I hope you guys uh stick around for the future content and I think I'll see you guys in the next video because uh you guys are awesome